Hey, what's going on internet? This is Vivek from Techwiz VP. Your problem, our solution. Welcome to our new video. Wait, this is not a new video. So this is an updated version of our Flutter battery video. When I uploaded that video, our subscriber commented, comment me that sir, please provide one video on how to handle battery level screen and how to show it in a progress bar. So let me tell you guys. Flutter battery plugin is not yet provide any listener to get battery levels. They only provided on battery state change listener to get battery status like batteries in charging state, discharging or full. But we have a solution for your problem. In this video, you will learn how to achieve functionality to get battery levels value in every five seconds. So we will create uh, something like a stream which will uh, give you a battery level value in every five seconds and update our progress bar as per the value. So this is something uh, what we are going to learn in this video. So here you can see uh, I took three indicators. These are just the icon buttons where I put three icons. First is for charging state, second is for discharging state and third one is for full. So I, I will show you this is my physical device. When I pl uh, plugged my charging cable, this icon will be changed automatically. So you, you see that that icon changed to charging mode. When I unplugged it, you can see it is now in a discharging state. I, I didn't use a, any tax label, uh, but instead of tax, I use these icons. You can see here it is not charging right. Okay, when it will be 100%, uh, this icon will be enabled. And uh, there is one more condition when our battery will be like less than 10 then this whole UI will be changed to red color means currently you can see this is something like light blue or greenish color but uh, when it uh, comes to 10% or less than 10 then this whole UI will be red so without wasting our time let's start this video So guys, first of all, we will talk about dependencies that which dependencies or which plugin I used in this video. So as for our previous video, I used this battery plugin and I used this sync fusion plugin to create that circular progress indicator. So that is nothing new. There is just a one dependency I added in our previous project or our from our previous video. So first we will create UI.
So till now we have done our UI section. We took three icons here. First is for charging state. Second one is for discharging state, and third one is for a hundred percent charging. And we use this uh, circular progress uh, indicator, which we design ourselves. And now we will code for our state and battery levels, and how that will affect on our UI. So first of all, I am going to create init state method here, and this and in this method we will use b dot on battery state change dot listen, and this event will return us a current battery state. Uh, if you don't know about this. so i have created our main battery video as i told you uh, then you can check out this all stuff this event will return us a current battery state and now we will use set state method to set our status state is equal to event so now our uh, state are changing so how it will affect our ui but before so to see that change we have to reload our app So currently, I plugged my charger and charging cable to my phone, and switch is on. You can see currently it is showing first button popped up because it is in a charging state. Now I am going to switch off. So you can see it changed. So now you can see it changed to middle middle icon. It means it is in a discharging state, and when it will reach to hundred percent charging, it go to last one. So you can see how our UI is changing, but you will ask me how this thing is exactly happening. So for that, I will show you our UI code. Here we pass condition. So this is a last parameter of our battery container method. So in this method, I pass boolean value has glow. So this has glow method actually uh, handles our popping these icons. so there are three states here battery state dot charging discharging and full according to this state and this condition it will affect our ui so now we will code for our battery levels so as i told you if our battery levels are less than 10 then then and then it will show red color thing or it will show red color over our application but currently it is in a 46 so let me show you again it is 46% charge so because it is not affecting our circular progress bar or our ui because we haven't done any code for our battery level so now we will code our battery level so for that i am going to use one boolean variable here broadcast battery so this uh, variable will be used in our method and this method will actually give us battery level so broadcast battery levels So this method will use to get battery levels every five seconds. So let's create this. And this method will be async. So there is some mistake in a spelling. B R O A. So now error has gone. Now we will code our. Uh, actual battery level. So first, uh, we will change the value of uh, broadcast battery is equal to true, and we will use while loop. And in this, we will pass broadcast battery. So while our condition is true, it will iterate. And here, we will use var b levels is equal to await. b dot battery level so this b dot battery level will return current battery count and we will use set state method to set our variable value show b level so now it will affect our battery levels too but for before that we have to use await future dot delayed and here we will pass duration of 5 seconds so this code will uh, return a uh, battery level every 5 seconds so now once when we restart our application it will start affecting our ui so you can see now it changed to blue color thing everything is blue here and you can see current battery levels 46 here it is a 46 so you can see it is right now it is changing 
it moves to 47 and it affect our UI too. Now I'm going to unplug our charging cable and you can see it is in a discharging state. So our application is working fine and this is how you can get a battery level broadcast every 5 seconds. So you can use here 3 seconds, 1 second as per your requirement. I use 5 seconds. I hope you guys understand this. So uh, now guys uh, it is done. It is showing the battery levels on our application, right? But we have to do one last step here and it is a dispose method. So we have to call this method to stop our broadcast. How we can stop this? We will use set set method here. And this broadcast battery is a true currently, but now we will change it to false. So our broadcast will be stopped here and uh, so many of subscriber was asking for this video so i made this so if you are new to this channel guys please hit that subscribe button if you like this video and if if this helped you in any way please hit that like button and share with your friends so see you in the next video till take care bye bye